Arnold, I need your help. Clearly, Frank's claim is discredited, but I need to get us the pay rise in order to consolidate my own position. Now, what would you do in my place? In fact, what did you do when you were cabinet secretary? You say Frank used the normal formula, comparable jobs in industry. That's right. And you need 43%. Mm, thereabouts. Well, since virtually all the relevant staff work in London, you should start with a big increase in the London allowance. Ah. Allowances count as expenses. They don't count as a rise, so they don't show up in the percentage calculation. London allowance. Then you could introduce a special graduate allowance for those with firsts and upper seconds to aid <laughs> recruitment. <laughs> Oxford doesn't give upper seconds, does it? A second at Oxford counts as an upper second. <laughs> at least. Then you double the outstanding merit awards. I take it people still get them? Oh, yes, everyone. <laughs> so they don't count as rises either. Mm -hmm. Are we getting there? Well, <clears throat> that still gets us down to only about 18%. Since last time? Yeah. Ah, then don't calculate from last time. Calculate from 1973. That was the high point. And don't just take it to this year. Take it up to two years' time, the end of this claim period rather than the beginning. Mm -hmm. Correcting for inflation, that should do it. <laughs> Next. Well, the percentage increases will sound all right now, but that still leaves a problem. The overall civil service pay bill will still be too high. Well, that's easy. You must reduce the size of the civil service. <laughs> what? <laughs> if the civil service was smaller than last time, a comfortable rise for individuals would be a smaller rise in the total bill. Yes, but real reductions in the size of the service would be the end of civilization. <laughs> no, my dear Humphrey, all you do is stop calling them civil servants. Take the museums, for instance. If you turn them into independent trusts, then all the staff stop being classified as civil servants. They're still the same people doing the same job and still being paid by government grants, of course. But as it's a grant, it doesn't count in the pay statistics. Unless anyone inquires closely, it'll look like a cutback. But can we set up so many trusts in time? Well, you may not have to do it at all. It only has to be planned for some time in the next two years. If it doesn't happen, it won't be your fault. Meanwhile, it means you should be able to get the rise to work out at 6% overall. Oh, thank you, Arnold. That's a great help. <laughs> oh, what's happened, Oblige? 